In this video, we're going to be looking at another type of estimation problem. In our previous example, we were given a sum, um, asked to estimate the sum with the first five terms, and then to say how good that estimate is. So that's one style of problem, to say you want to use the first so many terms, and then determine how good that estimate would be. Um, another way to phrase the question is to um, ask you to estimate a sum, so you have to figure out how many terms you might need, so that the error will be less than some given bound. Okay, So here we're going to be working on that type. So we will need to be applying the integral estimation theorem. Um, let's go ahead and let f of x be equal to 1 over 2x plus 1 to the sixth. And we'll assume that f of x meets our condition. So assume that f of x is positive continuous and decreasing for x greater than or equal to 1. So it meets the conditions of our estimation theorem. Okay, um, We're just not going to take the, the time to prove that, but we'll go ahead and assume that we've, we've already checked those conditions and we have the conditions being met. So the first step that we'll need to follow then is to figure out what n needs to be. So we need to figure out how many terms um, of this series are needed so that we get our error in estimation being le less than this 1 over 10 to the 6. So we need to find Sn so that the remainder, okay, remember the error and the remainder are the same idea, so that our remainder is less than or equal to 1 over 10 to the 6. Okay, and step 2 is going to be to actually find Sn. In other words, we figure out what s, um, what n is, and then we will add up that many terms to get an estimate of the sum. So how are we going to go about fit finding n? Well, we know that from our integral estimation theorem, our n will be less than or equal to the integral from n to infinity of 1 over 2x plus 1 to the 6 dx. Okay. So I'm going to need to figure out what this is, and then I'm going to have to see where that um, value is less than or equal to 1 over 10 to the 6th. Okay, so we'll go ahead and figure out this integral first. So notice that I'm going to need to find um, this improper integral, so that'll be a limit as b goes to infinity of the integral from n to b. So notice that n is not going to infinity, n is some fixed number here. I'm going to have to approach my upper bound here, have this upper bound b here approach infinity. This is 1 over 2x plus 1 to the 6 dx. Okay, so we can do u substitution on this. So notice here I can let u be equal to um, 2x plus 1. So my du is 2 dx. Okay, so I've got this limit as b goes to infinity here of my integral from 2n plus 1 up to 2b plus 1. And this would be 1 over u to the 6, or so u to the negative 6. And this would be 1 half du here is equal to my dx. So I have 1 half du. Okay, so we've got this limit as b goes to infinity of 1 half. This will be u to the negative 5 over negative 5, or negative 1 over 5u to the 5th, evaluated from 2n plus 1 to 2b plus 1. Okay. So what are we going to have next here? Well, we've got the limit as b goes to infinity. This will be negative 1 tenth. We'd have 1 over 2b plus 1 to the fifth minus 1 over 2n plus 1 to the fifth. Okay. So notice here as b goes to infinity, this 1 over 2b plus 1 to the fifth here, this is going to be going to 0. Okay. So I'll have this negative 1 tenth times this negative 1 over 2n plus 1 to the fifth. So I'm going to get positive 1 over 5, excuse me, over 10 times this 2n plus 1 to the fifth. Okay, so I'm going to need to solve for where that quantity is less than or equal to 1 over 10 to the sixth. So what we have, just to summarize here, is that rn is less than or equal to 1 over 10 
times 2n plus 1 to the fifth, and we want to find n so that this is less than um, or equal to 1 over 10 to the sixth. Okay, so we can um, start here by doing a little cross multiplying. So multiply both sides by 10 to the sixth. So I'll have 10 to the sixth here. Um, is then less than or equal to, and then multiply this denominator of 10 times 2n plus 1 to the fifth times both sides. So we have that's less than or equal to 10 times 2n plus 1 to the fifth. Okay, so I can divide both sides by 10. So we get 10 to the fifth is less than or equal to 2n plus 1 to the fifth. Okay, and then we can take the fifth root of both sides. So I have 10 is less than or equal to 2n plus 1. Subtract 1, we get 2n is bigger than or equal to 9 or n is greater than or equal to 9 halves. Okay, so remember n is an integer. So if this is saying n has to be greater than or equal to 4.5, we have to pick the um, next integer, would be the smallest integer. Um, that will work to guarantee our error will be less than or equal to this 1 over 10 to the 6. So we can say, so we're going to use n equals 5. Okay, so remember that step 2. Okay, step one was finding n. Okay, now step two, we want to go ahead and find sn because we were asked to estimate this sum um, with an error of no more than 1 over 10 to the 6. So that actual estimate will be the fifth partial sum, it turns out, which will be the sum of the first five terms. So remember our sum here was a sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 2n plus 1 to the 6. Okay, so if I plug in 1, I have 1 over 3 to the 6. We plug in 2, we've got 1 over 5 to the 6. Okay, and we'll have 1 over 7 to the 6, 1 over 9 to the 6, and 1 over 11 to the 6. So using a calculator, we can see that this sum is approximately 0.001447. Okay, and then we can summarize our conclusion here by saying S5 um, will differ from S by no more than 1 over 10 to the 6. Okay, so this is a, a good approximation. This is um, within 1 over 10 to the 6 from the actual value of the sum. Let me know if you have any questions on this material.